welcome back to DXB Today. So excited to have back in the studio, back on the show, the CEO of Kids Mobile App. It's Simona, how are you? I'm good, thank you. We love having you on the show, giving thank us all you. that inside <laughs> knowledge for what we can be doing around the holiday season. It's a busy season for you, I bet. It is a busy season, but it's one of my favourite seasons. I mean, the weather's amazing. Tourists are in town, friends, family are in town. It's an amazing season. Wow, you're the most positive person on the show today, <laughs> aren't you? I love it so much. All right, first of all, before we get into the nitty gritty, tell us what the Kids app is, first and foremost. All right, so kids, we developed kids because we wanted to help parents, families, friends, tourists make their lives easier. And Dubai's got so much to offer us. So we basically aggregated everything that's happening in the city on the app and you can find, plan, book all the cool things to do with your families and you can book them from the comfort of your app. I feel like people do have a stress in the festive season to go on holiday, but I'm always like the weather is the best it ever is. There's so much going on. So Simona, what are some of the things that you can do with your entire family here in the UAE? Oh wow, there's so many things. I mean, I think your previous guest and Olivia, you were just saying how much you love Dubai at Christmas time. Um, it's just amazing. So. For example, the DSF drone show at JBR. I don't know whether you've seen it, yeah. but it's incredible. Yeah. It's free and it's 800 drones up in the sky just putting on this most amazing show. I so mean, it's phenomenal, isn't yeah. it? To go to, and, and the most important thing is, as we were saying as well, it's free. <laughs> just grab hold of anything at the moment <laughs> that is free. Exactly. And then there, there are all kinds of winter fests around town. There's obviously the Souk Madinat, which is sort of the famous winter market with a 10 meter tall Christmas tree. But Expo City this year have got oh. a, a winter fest on as well. The, the winter fest at Expo City is absolutely one of my favourites. Um, it's got a little market down there. So the, the food that you can get from all over, like because the, the festive food from all over the world is phenomenal. This year as well, they always have fantastic entertainment. They are doing Carols and uh, Carols by Candlelight, oh. and they actually yeah. sold out. You have to buy tickets, yeah. but it's only 20 dirhams or something. But they sold out, and then they released two more dates, and I got in there. So I'm going down <laughs> there with my. Do you plan. work for Expo City? I, I should work for Expo. I mean, we were there for seven months of our we lives. Were, yeah. um, but I do love it. But do you know what? Sorry, going on about Expo as well. It's because you can get the scooters and the the bikes and stuff. So it's great Let's for go families. Around, yeah. But yeah. the Christmas food and the little. I know the chimney cakes. <sighs> absolutely my favourite. Can't get enough of them whatsoever. Um, okay, so what else then? So we've got, what about... Talk to me about Legoland, because I what? saw that on my little brief. What's happening there? <laughs> <laughs> well, Legoland always is very festive at this time of year. I think they've got a special event going on at the moment. Even Lapita has got a festive event and brunch and dinner and the kids eat free and then you can actually go and explore Legoland. So that's a like that's always a cool place to go, especially again with the weather. I keep with the kids, the right? Weather. With the kids, it's a cool place to go. Yes. I shouldn't go by myself. All right. You could. <laughs> I might. Not, <laughs> yeah, you could, but no. I think with the kids. <laughs> if you are to pick one out of so many activities that you would like to make as a perfect day mm. in Dubai, what would that be? Oh, that's a really difficult question. I'd say if you've got guests in town, or even not, but go on a day trip to Hatta. Hatta's just amazing. It's like an hour and a half drive, maybe from Dubai, so you can go and come back in the same day. And you've got the dam where you can go kayaking and canoeing on the dam and do other kind of water-based activities. And then you've got um, Hatta Wadi Hub, which is an activity area full of amazing things for kids and adults alike. You can go mountain biking, climbing on the wall. They've got this kind of toboggan-like thing. There's a water drop. It's incredible. Love Hatta. But I love Dubai as well. Oh yes, for sure. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm just saying if that's one of the things you have to choose from. But now that we're talking about outdoor activities, I'm going to take it back. What about New Year's Eve? Are, are we going to go outdoor for that with the kids? Or is, it, is there some um, special things happening indoor that you think we could do? Um, well, there's always, I mean, there's always so many events on. I'm, I'm a big person of the free events, so I love, <laughs> I love the fireworks. And Dubai does put on the absolute best fireworks show in the world, so you can watch them in a multitude of places. But obviously Burj Khalifa is an amazing area across the beach and the palm. So I, that's probably what I would do with my family. Well, since you mentioned the fireworks, which ones would you recommend? Um, I would say that the, around the palm is always my favourite. I always consider traffic as well, so it depends on how far you have to drive or not. But You've the got to competition try and... is getting fierce, though. Yes. What did you say? The competition. I thought you said the conversation. <laughs> it's not fierce yet, but the competition is, because I'm really excited about the new world record 
that Russell Hamer is obviously going to try it. But I'm pretty sure, and again, I'm pretty sure that Russell Hamer already have it, but they want to make keep it beating their, yeah, their they own keep record. beating their own <laughs> record, which is very Dubai style, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, there's just so much going on. There's so much. I mean, there's all the shows as well, the Christmassy shows. There's a Nutcracker on this weekend in Dubai Opera, an Intercontinental Festival City. They've got uh, Rocking Back in Time, so like a live concert where you can sing along to some old oh, tunes. Lally. So there's all kinds of shows happening in town. Now before we let you go, where do we find out about the app then? Where do we find you and find out all of the discounts? And <laughs> so you can download the app from Google Play or from uh, um, the App Store, it's QIDZ, or you can go on to www.kids.com and you can find everything else that's happening there. Well, Simona, I'm sure we could go on and on about the many things happening here in Dubai. However, we're going to have to turn the spotlight on to Oliveira now because Fares has a quiz for her. That's right. It's time for DXB Ooh. in 60. It's not exactly a quiz because all the questions are about you. So we just want to get <laughs> oh, to know you as quickly as okay. possible in 60 seconds. Are you ready? Do my best. Starting the clock in three, two, one. If you weren't into food or tourism, what industry would you be working in? Automotive. Uh, ooh. If there's one, what's one thing in life you can't live without? Cheese. Okay, yeah, <laughs> me too. Uh, your motto when it comes to life and work? Ooh, always be happy, always be positive. I like that. What is your hidden gem in Dubai? Tough one. Oh, this is a tough one. If I say it's not going to be a hidden gem anymore, that's Come not a problem. Share. Okay, and I give a credit to a friend of mine who discovered it and it became my favorite. It's Nabil Rooftop. All right, we're all going to be there, everyone. <laughs> uh, what's the best dish you've had in Dubai and where was it? Ultimately, the best burger in the world. I would give it to Orfali Bros. It's oh. stunning. Amazing. What is the most used app on your phone, do you think? Deliveroo. Oh, yeah, I thought it might be. <laughs> uh, top series you've watched this summer? Ooh, uh, The Crown. The Crown. Oh, if there's one person you could hang out with, with for 24 hours, who would it be? Mm -mm. It would probably be Jean Roca. Okay, and finally, why Dubai? It's the center of the world. It's the center of gastronomy, it's the center of all the happenings, all the activities, all the new innovations. It's just a place to be and it's, it's a pleasure of calling it my hometown. Oh, well, thank you so much, <laughs> Oliver. We're all like, oh. <laughs> But really, we enjoyed and we know that if ever we need to pick someone's brains about where to eat, we will be giving you a call again. But thank, thank you again you. for having or for joining us on the show. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Simona, so much yes. for being with us and coming back again. Thank you. Thank you. So now there is something that we've been waiting for all evening. I know especially Katie and Faris are excited for this. Ryan Gibb is up right after this, so stay there.